And that breaking news tonight, the Pfizer vaccine gets the green light. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Alan Campbell. The FDA authorized the highly effective vaccine for emergency use at a time when COVID-19 is ravaging the nation with a record number of cases and deaths. Federal officials say the first 2.9 million doses are set to roll out of a Pfizer plant in Kalamazoo within just 24 hours. Tomorrow, an advisory committee for the CDC is meeting to sign off on the vaccine. That would clear the way for vaccinations to start early next week. Now, hospitals and health departments can now move forward their plans to begin distributing the vaccine. We have team coverage of what could be a turning point in the battle against COVID-19. Let's begin with 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast. He is live at Ascension Hospital in Warren with what you need to know tonight. Brett? Well, this FDA authorization means that Pfizer can begin distributing their COVID-19 vaccine to hospitals like the one behind me. But in order for them to actually vaccinate patients, they still need one more approval from the CDC. At Pfizer's facility near Kalamazoo, vaccine production is ramping up, ready to be shipped across the country and across the state to Metro Detroit. We're really, really hopeful that this is the game changer that we've needed. Hospitals like Beaumont, along with county health departments, will get the first doses of the vaccine, along with needed supplies. Aside from storing and shipping, administering the vaccine also has challenges. Once mixed and readied, the vaccine only lasts six hours. As a nurse, I'll be partnered with a pharmacy technician and so that the pharmacy technician can be drawing up each vaccine while I give the next person. Beaumont has already done practice run throughs and held a lottery to see who out of their 38,000 staff members will get the first 1,000 doses. We feel really, really well prepared. In the first rollout, the state of Michigan will receive nearly 85,000 doses across 56 hospitals and 16 health departments. 26 of those hospitals and four of the health departments are in the Detroit area. No steps were skipped in this process that it's continued to follow the exact same steps that we would for any other vaccine. The CDC is also launching a smartphone app so vaccinated people can report side effects and get notified when it's time for a second dose. The first dose is probably going to be somewhere in a 70% range as far as keeping you from getting sick. And once you hit the second dose, we're in the 95% range or better. The state also revealed four priority groups showing who will get the vaccine first, with the goal of vaccinating the general public by late spring and having 70% of the entire state vaccinated by the end of 2021. Once the public starts to get, in, get uh, vaccinated, then we're going to have herd immunity. Now, because the FDA authorization happened today, the CDC committee has actually moved up their meeting to tomorrow. It's at 11 a.m. And if approved, then vaccines could be given out to patients beginning next week. And also next week, this same process is going to happen again with the Moderna vaccine. This was for the Pfizer vaccine. Then it comes to the Moderna vaccine. The state of Michigan is actually lined up to receive nearly 175,000 doses of the Moderna vaccine. That is more than double the amount they are receiving of the initial Pfizer doses. Reporting here in Warren, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. Certainly welcome news for a lot of people, Brett, but who would have imagined that we would be doing a lottery for nurses and doctors to get vaccines? But that's where we are. Thank you so much for the live report.